Hi there and welcome back. I am going to use this tutorial to show you how to convert audio to MIDI using Melodyne 4. In this example I will be using Melodyne 4's melodic audio detection algorithm to detect the notes. I will then save the result as a MIDI file and import it into Samplitude. I am then going to use the imported MIDI to trigger a virtual instrument. This is the bass part I need to convert. So I'm selecting the bass track and left clicking where it says no effect. Navigating to VST effects, Melodyne for Melodyne. I'm pressing the transfer button and when I press play the audio will be transferred into Melodyne. So that's the audio transferred and automatically detected. If I click on one of the blobs, I can hear what note it is. I can then use the right arrow on my keyboard to audition the notes. Sounds like all the notes have been detected pretty well. I'm going up to the settings menu and choosing save as MIDI. Overwriting the existing MIDI file from an earlier test. I'm closing the Melodyne window now and selecting the third track which contains a virtual instrument by Applied Acoustics called Ultra Analog VA2. I'm using the Juno patch. Just move that out of the way a bit. So I want to import the MIDI file, so I'm going up to the file menu and choosing Import, Load MIDI File, Shift plus M. Import Tempo Map doesn't need to be ticked, and I'm choosing Single Track Mixed to One VIP Track. There it is. Let's see how that sounds. So it's an octave too low I would say, so we need to transpose it. So I'm going to double click the MIDI object to open the MIDI editor. Using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus A to select all, I'm dragging it from C1 up to C2. The other thing I'm going to do is even out the velocity. The velocity lane is on the right here, so I'm going to drag one of the notes upwards until all of the notes reach 127. So let's have a listen to that now. More consistent. Although Melodyne has done a great job with the detection, the lengths of some of the MIDI notes are slightly longer than the original bass line. So I'm going to manually edit those, and I'm going to use the shuttle wheel on my Behringer X-Touch. Then I can scroll through the part and edit where necessary. I'm comparing the length of the original bass notes to the MIDI notes. Then I'm pressing T to split the note and I'm deleting the excess length to the right of the note. So everything should be much tighter now. Have a listen to that. So that's how it works, audio to MIDI using Melodyne 4 in Samplitude. 